people have forgotten that uh, WhatsApp was bought by Facebook for $16 billion, a lot of money. And what they did was they, they made Messenger what Messenger is by using all this technology that WhatsApp had. So it's, right. like, it's like a sleeping giant. Learn how to capture attention. My job is to wake people up. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. It's good to chat with you again. Thanks so much for jumping on. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Yeah, of course. Part I'm really a mystery. Good. What is Ogilvy Production Bot? Okay, so Ogilvy is um, just one of the old school top marketers, and Ryan Dice has just had a man crush on him for a really long time. So Ogilvy is just our kind of company Zoom account. So yeah, oh, that's great. not me. I don't really smoke a pipe so much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, I like the idea. Very cool. Yeah, okay. of course. That way anybody can jump on and, and take on the marketing persona. <laughs> totally, totally. Okay, good, good, good. All yeah. right, I was wondering about that since last time that I saw. I was like, well, I wonder what that is. Is that like yeah. a, a subdivision or something? <laughs> yeah, if you're on a call with us, eventually get used to it, but I forget that we always have to kind of like explain what that <laughs> what, <laughs> awesome. All right, great. So what do you have in mind for today? Because I, I made some notes about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you want me to go over that with you, um, kind of like I put some slides together that I had my staff put together what we've done. I'd love that. Yeah, whatever yeah. you have to share because, you know, like we talked about in, um, in our message, you know, there's just, there's, there are so many questions about this. There's way more questions than answers. And I feel like, especially in the U.S., there's like a huge demographic that's being underserved. And then, of course, people that are trying to, you know, make connections across international lines, like there's, it's all about messenger bots and there's just not a lot about WhatsApp. Everyone's kind of throwing their hands up and saying, well, we're waiting for mini chat to figure it out. But I know that you guys are doing it already. So yeah, I'd love to hear whatever you guys have been doing. I'll show you. Yeah, I believe uh, I've, I've had attention on it for a long time, especially uh, me from coming from a Latin background, being on the Latin American market. Um, yeah. it's, it's a very big deal. I mean, as I look at, I can tell you that one thing that I've been observing throughout years, as I look at, um, for example, my dad's YouTube channel, um, we, we get about 100,000 uh, subscribers every single 30 days and we have a lot of growth. And, and I can actually go and find out what are the platforms that get the most engagement and shares. Um, WhatsApp is actually the platform where the content gets shared the most. Wow. Of all the platforms for Latin yeah. America. So uh, that data is there, it's on the back end of YouTube, I can see uh, okay, so happening on, on WhatsApp, what's happening on Facebook, on Messenger, mm -hmm. no, nothing trumps when it, comes, when it comes to the interaction on the platform. The shareability is something else, something that we've seen quite powerful. People develop big communities in it. Like they, they develop very strong bonds and groups and, and, and some of the best groups, these, these are, you can put it like, uh, I guess like Facebook groups on steroids, right? Like yeah. that's what a WhatsApp group is. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm a member of uh, probably four or five WhatsApp groups, and um, there's a lot of motion and activity. So yeah. it's like, you know, like next level type of communication and engagement. Uh, so everybody has been waiting for something to happen. Uh, I think that WhatsApp is a sleeping giant in the yeah. 2020, 2021 world. And, and um, as soon as uh, some of these major platforms, um, take it mainstream, like ManyChat, yeah. then they will go like next level. But right now, there's, there's an opportunity for a lot of businesses. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so you, for example, yeah. I was at um, a, a party a couple of weeks ago, and we just have a really um, large extended group of Latin friends. People like I was at a party, I was probably one of five people that were native English speakers. And I know that we always communicate through WhatsApp, and they communicate all of their friends and family through WhatsApp. And so it's like the sleeping giant is here in the United States. I think there's this perception that it's all only international, but it's already here. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, people are using that. it. Yeah, people are using it. Uh, one thing that, um, that a, lot of, a lot of people don't realize 
We are, uh, one of the things that we're doing right now is that we're focus, we're gonna focus heavily on this. Uh, I can tell you that particularly on my agency, uh, I have a marketing agency, we have over 50 staff, and uh, we, uh, throughout the last uh, three years since we've created the, uh, the agency, we really haven't developed a sales team. It's all been about content. I put a lot of content out there. I do a lot of seminars and I do webinars and I um, just, that's been my route. I haven't had a sales team. So now that we're putting in place a sales team, then WhatsApp is, is actually that opportunity for us to get leads. And wow. the easiest one that we can put on online so the salespeople. So we are focused on WhatsApp right now, not even on Messenger, because all the changes and everybody jumping on the Messenger wave, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't think it's that opportunity, right? Even though it's hard for me to say that, Daphne, because I've been such a Messenger guy uh, for years now. Uh, I, I, I've been riding the wave. I've been at the top of the evolution. I'm one of the top Messenger experts on the world. Uh, I mean, I think the other day on the um, on the... I was, uh, I, I was given an award on the conversations event mm-hmm. um, for uh, an award that they call the most engaging bot. There's one of the bots that we built, uh, which is uh, for one of my big clients, his name is Dr. Eric Berg, that the level of engagement is like off the charts, like incredible. But we've been riding the wave, right? It, we're not getting the same ability to generate subscribers at a low cost like we used to get a year ago. And that's because everybody has been jumping all over it right now. Right. So uh, that opportunity, uh, it's not, you know, I think uh, uh, the, the numbers that they, they talked about on ManyChat, my company is responsible for 1%, meaning one out of every 100 subscribers that have come into ManyChat over the last year and a half, we have created them. So we've been writing that way, like aggressively. Yeah. So now I'm more like inclined towards, okay, good. How do we jump into this new messenger, right? Uh, People have forgotten that uh, WhatsApp was bought by Facebook for $16 billion, a lot of money. And what they did was they they made messenger what messenger is by using all this technology that WhatsApp had. So it's like, it's like the sleeping giant, right? Like it's, it's, they've been taking from it, taking from it. They launched messenger, but this is what they have up their sleeves right now. This is the, platform that has so much attention that now they're going to make it go like, okay, good. Now let's monetize it. So what we did was that, um, last year, uh, we were looking for a way to generate more subscribers, more leads for our natural slim clinics. Uh, we have a, a, a business called natural slim, which is now in nine countries. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we, we knew, for example, being Latin that WhatsApp had a lot of attention that we also looked at the data on YouTube and we also knew that a lot of people were consuming content on WhatsApp and sharing and resharing all the videos there for WhatsApp. So we said, how do we leverage that? So then we started doing, before we had the opportunity, I'm gonna show you on these slides here, that now it's, you can actually do campaigns just directly generating WhatsApp messages. But before we did that, we did a workaround to generate people to open up conversations with us on um, uh, on WhatsApp. So um, one thing that was exciting is that I've been waiting for this for a long time. As you can see here, I can give you these slides, uh, Bethany, but you can see here that the Android link, this is the one that we've had for, I'm going to say for about a year and a half now. We've had the ability to create a WhatsApp business account for Android. Yeah, wow. But iPhone is brand new. We didn't have that. Yeah. So, so for iPhone, you now have the ability to create a WhatsApp business account. So you don't have to use your own cell phone number. You can actually buy a 1-800 number. It could be a toll free number. It can be a, 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 con- a code of your city. You can, as long as you can verify that it is your number, that could be your WhatsApp business number. And you can do it through WhatsApp business, iPhone or WhatsApp business, Android. So that's a new uh, development, which is very exciting for sure. So it needs to be connected to a Facebook page. Uh, it's not complicated to get that done. They made it simpler. Right. Business page, settings, WhatsApp, and then you're going to connect the number. Uh, you can connect it also for the Facebook business manager. You can see here that uh, this is on the page, WhatsApp. Uh, you can go to the settings, and then it's going to ask you to verify your phone number, and it could be on any of these countries that have WhatsApp, of course. There's a lot of them. And then, as you probably know, uh, we've been using this for a long time. This is great if you picture like a sales team, 
yeah. right? Like you can have, uh, you know, a WhatsApp phone number and you can actually have a sales team that uh, is actually seeing on their desktop what's happening on their WhatsApp conversations. And then you can just be using social to bring people in and then having the, the sales team claim the lead and just handle them, right? And just put a little note on that. So that, that's something that's a possibility right now with WhatsApp right here. So that we've used that successfully. Mm -hmm. So obviously doing customer service, uh, sales rep chat with leads, yeah. that's been uh, hard, like getting on the phone. So what we've done, uh, you can interrupt me anytime. I mean, you get, you've got to get to know me, Bethany, but I'm a little fast and- No, I love it. Fast. Keep yeah. it going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what we've done is that we, we uh, as long as the, uh, the team is ready to handle volume, mm -hmm. we, we are sending people to their WhatsApp business. Yep. And then these guys are being assigned the leads and then they're actually um, getting them on the call or texting with them because a lot of people these days don't want to answer phone calls. And then they send them videos with more information. Like you could have like tutorial video, what they do, or they can actually schedule a particular like consultation. Right. or give them uh, Google Maps uh, directions for them to show up to their local offices. Yeah, I love the way you guys have done it too by like being so content focused on the front end and then building up the sales team after that. That's so, so important and that's something that gets left off on sales team all the time is to constantly keep re-engaging with that content that you've created and letting the content make the sale for you. So I, I love the way that y'all do that. Totally. Yeah. I've always been a, a content driven marketer. That's for sure. Um, way before that's how I built my dad. Uh, he's a social media superstar with millions of followers. Uh, Dr. Burke himself. I mean, all these guys that I've worked with for the years, it's all been driven around getting the content seen and then generating leads. I actually have a policy in my business. I can tell you that it, me, myself, I never, never push for leads that don't, that don't know who I am. Never, never. Right. So, this is me, right? There's a lot of marketers out there that you, can, you have a great product, a great service. Maybe, maybe you are in the middle of tax season and you know people don't care. They want to have a good service. But in my case, um, I have come to realize throughout the years mm -hmm. that if somebody's going to buy a $300 program from me, there, it's not going to happen from cold first yeah. contact. Yeah. Uh, if somebody's going to buy a $2,000 course from me, it sure as heck will not happen unless they have seen me seven, eight, ten times before. And that's something that I realized along the way. I mean, people like Dr. Berg, he sells $170 kits. The way that we sell them is for retargeting. So WhatsApp would not be any different. If you want to get on the phone with somebody, ideally, if you don't want to waste that time of the salesperson and the prospect, you want to put them in front of them after they have seen some content. So we are definitely very focused on that. And if, you, if, if they don't have a long-term content play, we try to get them to realize that, that that's something that they actually have to get done. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, Facebook to business man, to, to WhatsApp business, we talked about that. So how do we get the leads? Facebook business manager, messages objective. That's what, that's what the objective is right now. Choose WhatsApp destination, ad set. This is not how it started, but this is what's available right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, send message call to action button. And, um, and now you can actually send them directly to messages. Now, obviously there's going to be limitations, right? You don't have a full bot set up. You don't have a welcome message that you can set up through, right. through Facebook, but that's going to happen any day now at yeah. some point. Yeah. Uh, I, know, I know from um, the CEO of ManyChat and other organizations, they're act actively working on getting this integration since the API is already open now. So that's coming down the pipeline. But for right now, you can just bring people in and generate a subscriber. And I think I have a, I, I took a screenshot of how it looks. So you can see on the consumer side, it's actually something that um, it's not, you know, like anything fancy like we can do on Messenger, but this gives you an idea. Let me just uh, drop this in here. Yeah, this is actually a screenshot from one of the actual leads. I'm going to just share my screen again. And how the conversation starts inside um, WhatsApp. Let me just open this up again. And it's very wow. simple. Like the, the message goes like that. Uh, it gives you the phone number. And wow. then uh, you can uh, add the contact right there. Sorry, it says Vantage because this is in Panama right here. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a little message that says, thanks for uh, communicating with Natural Slim. How can we help you? And then you see the person putting a smiley face 
and you can uh, do voice messages, you can attach mm -hmm. files, you can send videos, you can call the person, you can do a video call. All that stuff is in there right then and there. So I foresee that probably no more than three to six months, we're going to have the ability of make these people subscribers. Yeah. And they're going to be part of a list. Yeah. So it's going to be right now, the way I see it right now is a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, yep. one-to-one, but it's going to, it's going to just like messenger is going to, it's going to take itself towards one to many like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I don't know if you, you remember Bethany, but this is the way it was. It was one-to-one yeah. -one on messenger. Right. A lot of that. Right. Uh, the Facebook business pages, uh, the way that it started was that they gave you the ability to send messages to the page. And that was like, oh my God, I can send yeah. messages to the page. Yep. But there were no bots, no bots. That word was not really utilized. Right. Uh, maybe two years ago, it started to become a thing, right? right. So this was the, it's just going down the similar path, which is yeah. a cool thing that when we look at these platforms, it's almost like we have, a, uh, we have the ability to look into the future because it's already yeah. been done on Messenger. So the same thing is going to happen on WhatsApp now, right? Yeah. I want to point out too, for people who don't use WhatsApp regularly, um, I think one of the most powerful things about it is that when you send someone a picture or an attachment through WhatsApp, it automatically saves it to your camera roll. So like when you're flipping through your photos later on, you're like, oh yeah, here's that thing that I got from that guy from Natural Slim. And the messenger doesn't have that ability and nothing else has that ability right now. So it's just like one of the really cool things about it is that it, it stores it in a place that you're regularly using even outside of the WhatsApp. WhatsApp platform. I just think that's such a cool, that's a great point. feature. Yeah. It's a great branding point. I mean, you, you, the user has the ability to opt out of that, mm -hmm. but it is standard. It comes right. in WhatsApp that right. whenever you send a file, it gets saved into your files. Right. So yeah, the good thing is that memory is expanding across cell phone devices. Like the other day I realized, uh, I don't think I ever have to delete a picture again yeah. in my life. Remember we used to do that all the time? <laughs> all the time, delete, delete, delete. Like right now, I think my phone, uh, my newest phone is like one terabyte now. Yeah. Like cell phone, right? Crazy. I remember when it, what was it? Four gigabytes, the first one that we had or two gigabytes? I, was, that, right? I, had one, I had one that was two, I think, a long time ago, but yeah. Two gigabytes, imagine that. Now we got an extra 998 gigabytes. So yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, great. So this is the process of creating. I'm going to show you in a couple of steps the process of creating. Uh, um, you guys are familiar, very familiar with the Facebook Business Manager, obviously. Yeah. So we're going to create an ad uh, to generate subscribers on WhatsApp or to generate conversations because, again, it's all about conversations. It's not going to be like a traditional email marketing campaign. It's, I mean, this is gold for businesses that need leads. It's yeah. such important because you're, you're really building um, long-term value. You're building relationships. You're showing people that you're for real. I mean, I wouldn't think that this is something that it's necessarily like um, for entrepreneurs that are lazy, that, don't, that just want to have an uh, automated system to scale and just sell. Uh, no, but if you want to be real to people, if you want to handle uh, individual people and give them a lot of attention and care and show them that you really want to get them results with your products and your services, then WhatsApp is a gold mine for you to explore for sure. So how do you set this up? You go to create, you go to messages. Uh, you can obviously have your naming convention. We are obsessed with CBO right now, campaign budget optimization. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting better in that area. Facebook is getting better in that particular area because you put them to work for you. They help you optimize so you can get more results. And then you're going to see a little option right here because we, we, this has been rolled out now worldwide. So we all have access to this now. So when you go to the ad set, uh, there's going to be an additional option there aside from Messenger, which I bet you that maybe 99.9% .9 of people out there are not clicking on it because they don't know what to do with it. Yep. Right? Would you think that that's pretty accurate, Bethany? Absolutely. I, I've, I've scoured the Facebook groups and every article I could find. Nobody knows what to do with this. And they've, they might have started the campaign, but they just kind of go, what do I do from here? So, yeah, I'd yeah. say that. And, and the other cool factor about all these new things that present themselves is that um, on the other side, the potential um, client, the, the, the prospect, the lead, they're so curious about what you're going to do on WhatsApp because they've never seen it before. Yeah, like who is this that's contacting? Oh my gosh, who is this guy? You want to know everything about them all of a sudden. Like. Exactly, because right now when you open up Facebook, I mean, this is the truth. I still think Messenger 
it's a great platform and it's such a big opportunity and everything. But when you open up Facebook, five out of every 15 posts are like, send me a message, right? Like, so on messenger. So it's not that fresh anymore. And in a world where we, where we are all a part of right now, things come in and out in a year or two, in and out, right? So WhatsApp is that next trend. So you can see right here, uh, when we select WhatsApp business, you see the Facebook page. This one is Natural Swim Panama, which is the example that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. This page is connected to a WhatsApp business account with number, and I blurred it out right, right there. But you can see that uh, uh, it's, once you connect the Facebook page with that number, that's going to be automatically pulled in there. So you have to just connect that number. If you don't have a number, you can purchase one. And I mean, you can use like uh, Google phone numbers. You can um, go to GoDaddy and purchase a phone number. There's many places where you can buy any of these phone numbers and have it a dedicated as a WhatsApp dedicated phone number. Uh, you select your audience. You guys don't need a lesson on that. You select your audience, find a, a particular audience that you want to target. And then we're doing um, traditional ads, right? It could be a single video, a single image. You can, have a, you can actually have a carousel. Uh, these are the options that you get for a messenger campaign messenger or whatsapp campaign so you can see here that you can create an ad you can use an existing post and you can do a mock-up also you can use a mock-up that you've used previously mm -hmm. and um uh, i think we did a, a a really bad google translate on this one <laughs> um, so don't pay attention to the copy on it uh, something like behind all health problems there is an affected metabolism i would definitely not translate it like that no worries order your, <laughs> order your free quote today right it's like it, it's uh it's probably asking um uh, get a free evaluation. Get a yeah. free metabolism evaluation today. That's the actual translation. Okay. Uh, and then you have a headline. I would like to get a free evaluation. And then somebody clicks on send message. And um, this is the way the ads look. You can have a little video, single image, etc. They go to send message. And this is what you get. Like at the, at the ad set level, Awesome. If you have a CBO, you can see conversations that are happening there, uh, just like you would see if you're using a messenger uh, objective, like just for messenger. And um, it's really cheap. Now, granted, all right, uh, here's a, um, an important note, right, in, regard, in regards to this. Latin America is generally way cheaper than the U.S., yeah. all right? That's the reality. Um, in some cases, it depends on the country. Now, if you go to Venezuela... I'm gonna pay a cent per subscriber, all right? Um, I've actually done campaigns in Venezuela because I, I was helping a celebrity over there to promote a, um, she was promoting a, uh, an, uh, an event. She has a uh, mon monologue that she does and- Can you tell us who it is? Uh, her name is Rudy Rodriguez. And okay. She's a, she's a Latin American famous actress, actress with a lot of followers. That's and amazing. I have a lot of Venezuelan friends who will probably know. Yeah. I don't know who she is, but my friends will know, so I had to ask. She, <laughs> yeah, I, I, she is a big shot in Venezuela. Uh, yeah. Rudy Rodriguez, she's a been she's been an actress for thirty five years. She was Miss Venezuela. Uh, wow. She's a powerhouse of a of a lady. And we were doing a campaign to promote her monologue because she's uh, also kind of like a comedian and drama, etc. And we were paying point uh, zero 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 one cents per video views. <sighs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh my god. This is the bad color for this because uh, it, it was green, but it, oh, it's wow. incredible. Like the, these countries right now are so like, uh, they're ripe for digital marketing. Yeah. You can actually spread a message for peanuts. Mm -hmm. You can get millions of followers to consume your content in Latin America. So story for another day. That's not what we came yeah. here to talk. Yeah. But in the United States, you can expect to pay more than that. So I'm going to go heavy on this right now for my agency. And for other clients, because WhatsApp has become more mainstream in yeah. the U.S. and it's going to continue growing as it gets more and more attention on this platform. But just so you know, it does have over, over 2 billion users already actively. Yeah. So it has more users on the, on the platform than Facebook does yep. in general on their platform. To give you an idea how big of a monster it is, there's more people engaging on WhatsApp in total than there are on Facebook. Yeah. Pretty that's incredible. Good. Yeah. So, so yeah, you would, let's say for example, that you're going to run this in the United States because people are not doing marketing for WhatsApp. I would estimate that you're going to pay anywhere from a dollar, two dollars to get a WhatsApp conversation started. Mm -hmm. It depends on how good you are as a marketer. If you know how to write good copy, yeah. do videos, images, you can lower the cost. If you know how to do targeting, as you already know, 
targeting is an important fact. So if you know how to do good targeting, you can also, you can also lower that cost. But it's going to be affordable, right? And on a CBO campaign, it will be something that you can actually do to keep yourself seem busy or yourself if you want to handle people yourself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we are plugging in, like for example, on the, on the sales signatures, right, for the teams, uh, we want to give people an opportunity to them, you know, message on WhatsApp. So it's a tool for them to engage with us all the time. So we are, we're going to continue figuring out like ways to, uh, I guess, like uh, optimize the overall marketing strategy. But one thing that we are doing right now, we have a company called 515 Global Energy. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you a little bit about it uh, here very quickly. Uh, if, if, you, if you check out these guys' uh, website, uh, these guys, what they do is that we sell renewable energy. It's coming in a second. Uh, it's in Italian, so I don't know how you, how you're Italian, but uh, what <laughs> it's, it's okay. Really, no. <laughs> it's okay. Huh? It's okay. So we sell renewable energy in Italy, okay. which uh, is very different than in the um, in the U.S. Because in the U.S., there's only five states that you can actually uh, have renewable energy. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, mm -hmm. in in Italy, everywhere. So what we do is that we use social media uh, to get people into WhatsApp. And then we have a list of people, uh, which I can show you here. Um, we have a list of people that um, get contacted for what? Oh, let me show you. All right. I think that's going to be interesting for you as sure. a final point. Uh, people reach out and then inside. Uh, sorry about that. I got all these messages coming okay. in. Okay. So this sheet right here, um, all we do is WhatsApp. All right. So for example, you're going to see here 515 social media leads, uh, or we have 515 all sources. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what we have is that we have a sales team. What is the name of the person? What is the email? What is the city? What day did they come in? Uh, what day were they called? And then they WhatsApp, they emailed, follow up one, follow up two. And it's all done through WhatsApp. So what we do is that we have a lead generation system. We generate the leads mm -hmm. and then these guys handle them through WhatsApp. Now, yeah. a lot of these guys are uh, using regular WhatsApp. That's, mm -hmm. that's what they're doing. But long term, we're going to move towards making this like all WhatsApp business so we can keep the branding of a professional brand and business overall. So it's, it's becoming a, a big part of a lot of these companies, especially like European uh, companies also, Latin American companies. This is something yeah. that we want to go heavy. And I can totally see this being applicable to any business out there that they want to either uh, sell products or services or anything of value that they need to get attention from another human being. Yeah, absolutely. And like you, like we've been saying all along, it's just, it's, it's so fresh and it's so new and the opportunity to interact with the business through WhatsApp is just, it's so surprising that it, it gives you that like extra edge and that extra level of engagement. Plus the number of users on WhatsApp is unbelievable. So yeah, I, th I think it's something that uh, a lot of, um, a lot of American agencies uh, haven't really dug into yet. Um, and I think probably part of the level of intimidation factor is, um, you know, like with like Latin and engaging with Latin American countries and Latin American demographics, there might be this sense of feeling like, okay, maybe I need to hire someone on staff who speaks Spanish. I need someone to like, if I'm a small agency and I'm just getting started and I want to try to break into WhatsApp, maybe I make sure that like I have a Spanish speaker on staff who can kind of handle some of those contacts. And I haven't, if I haven't already done that, that's something that I need to start looking into doing because you're just leaving so much business oh, on yeah. the table when you, when you leave that out. And you know, the, uh, the uh, thing about that, Bethany, is that right now that's becoming simpler uh, to get that help. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually, like, I, I'm running a, an entire business um, for an organization that is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And they had to open up a new market. They have a company called American Power and Gas in the United States. $350 million a year corporation. They're opening up a new market in Italy. And they depended on me to build a whole marketing plan. How much Italian do I know? Zero. Right. I, I don't know Italian. I, I was excited about it because I've always wanted to learn Italian. <laughs> but I said, look, I'm not going to say that I don't speak the language. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just figure it out. So because we live on an interconnected world, mm -hmm. it's very simple for me to put my communication lines out there and say, hey, I'm looking for some talent, Fiverr, uh, virtual assistants, um, onlinejobs.ph, and all these places. And I find talent out there. I teach them my systems and I build it along the way so I can actually just help them 
get more uh, overall results when it comes to just being a part of my organization. So it's very simple to get it done if you, uh, if you just have the intention to find somebody that speaks Spanish to help you out, you can find them like that and just teach them your systems and off you go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Manuel, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for sharing everything. I think I have to jump on another call, but um, I'm excited to connect soon and I'll make sure to get you this recording. So. Okay, sounds good. All right, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks, Manuel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.